our reservations. And there's our other Dave. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Thank you. I think that's all. That's about right. Perfect. Cool. Thanks very much. I'll come back at another point for that. <laughs> there's Danny and Sean. They're beautifying things. And there's Ray. Well, there's more than one. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to... Hang on, hang on. Hey, he wants to come that way a bit. Engineering room. I just listen all the time. Yeah. Because I just, because I really respect your space, not because I don't love you guys. I love you guys. They're teaching me all the stuff they know in 15 minutes. Or less. Or less. Or less. Yeah. I think it's I don't think they'll touch you anymore. <laughs> no, no, the All the oh, foam <laughs> around the inside. Mm -hmm. That is core. that is to deaden the air sound, the windage noise from the rotor. Yeah, it seems to be. It seems this is. model is. Yes. Uh, I don't hear it now. Noisy no? At all. <laughs> nice. So it works. Mm -hmm. Foam your core. <laughs> Testing um, the conversion of the virus into real power. The first step is to test the uh, the transformer effect, and then second test we will um, um, simulate the resonance at the uh, at the primary, mm -hmm. and then get real power at the secondary. This is the secondary here, and then the test we're going to apply a voltage yep. here. That's where I got it out. And we're going to make this yeah. resonate. <laughs> the the bucking coils here resonate with the with the capacitor here. Mm. And then we're going to measure the uh, the voltage and the, the voltage here, and we're going to put a load and make sure that we get the real power on this side. Jump up a little bit. If we're anywhere near resonance, yeah, you have the window down a bit. And, uh, this is a group. One, two, three. So here's one group, right? There'll be one more group and ten and twelve are linked. Ten and twelve are linked. I know you don't want to do it to that beautiful table, right? Oh, it's a little used, don't you? Yeah, yeah, that makes it even more beautiful. <laughs> you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Some varnish. <laughs> I'm sending, I'm sending. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
I didn't do it. Nobody saw me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> now look at this guy over here. Can we look at you, John? Or are you incognito? No, not right. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, I think it is telling us something. Keep In your opinion, is it safe to say that this achievement of resonance in and of itself is a huge breakthrough compared to where we've come? Absolutely, because it means we found a way of creating uh, a parametric oscillation and have it stored uh, or in, in, in the form that, that can be stored and have another method of being able to extract energy from that oscillation. Mm -hmm. And it's a just com a completely um, different way of viewing how to uh, store and use energy. Okay. Yeah. Hooking up the load bank. Mm -hmm. Okay. This cable plenty long. Let's do it. Do we want a gong, a gong roll with her? <laughs> yeah, let's have a gong roll. Yeah. Go on. Go on. AJ's going to give us a gong roll. Okay, so here we have the spark gap, and we were just playing with different shapes. Um, uh, to start with, we just had two separate wires, just like this. Um, as I say, we're just playing. The importance is that you want a very small spark, a spark gap there, so you get a regular spark. If it gets too close and it's sparking continuously, uh, that's not what you want, and if it's too far away and it doesn't spark, that's not what you want either. So you're actually tuning it to get it just the right distance so it's sparking every few seconds. Okay, so one of the things that we are, some of the data we're trying to record is to see whether the QED is putting out any harmful emissions. Um, we've been using things like Gauss meters just to keep a track of the magnetic fields and we've had EMF meters for the electric fields. Um, but we're also using uh, radiation meters for, uh, in this case, beta radiation, gamma radiation and x-rays. So we don't expect to generate any, but we've been keeping a track on whether they are or not. So we're just going to fire it up now just to see whether we get any um, any increase.
so there doesn't appear to be any detection there of either beta, gamma or x-rays, which is good.